So we are at the 32nd meeting of iBiome and today with us is the co-founder and CEO of Xenotypic Technologies, Dr. Raja. Hi sir, how are you? Good, thank you. So sir, uh, I can see a lot of contributions has already gone into the biotech sector and now this new initiative iBiome also. Oh. So wanted to understand what went in and starting, let's start with Xenotypic first. Oh. What went in in starting Genotypic long back you started? How was the philosophy? How did you plan? Like you said earlier, you planned it. We uh, planned it uh, long, long ago, even during my college times to start a company. But we brought myself and my wife came back from Israel right. and US to start uh, Genotypic. The idea is to bring the new modern mm -hmm. technologies. At that time it was the Human Genome Project. Right. So can we bring genomics into India? Right. So we were the first one to bring microarrays, all genomics came. Initially we started uh, in Bangalore, uh, initially we started in Coimbatore, then Madurai and then in 2000 we moved to Bangalore. Mm -hmm. So Bangalore was the best place to start, that goes without saying. Uh, right. So we tried few other places and started in Bangalore, that's in the year 2000. Right. Yeah. So, sir, no. at that point in time, there was no support infrastructure, there was uh, no awareness also about biotech. So, what challenges you faced while starting a company of this scale? See, bi uh, biotech was, uh, uh, people were aware of biotech because I studied the India's first uh, MSc biotechnology okay. that was started in 19, uh, 1986. 1986. That was the first day, it was called uh, NBTB. Okay, so when Dr. I was born, he was in college. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Dr. Ramchandran was there. Right. Okay. right. Now we call him DBT Ramchandran. That yes. time he was called as NBTB Ramchandran. Okay. So totally six different universities were given by technology. Okay. So I was in Pune for some time and then in, uh, and then nice. completed in Madurai. Right. So that time itself, that's when people wanted to do biotechnology as a commercial thing, not as a research. Right. So that time itself, that was the whole idea that DBT's progenitor right. pushed that idea of starting companies into right. many of us. Okay, wonderful. Yeah. So sir, uh, yeah. now that fast forward to today, yeah. I, and you have started iBiome and yeah. uh, with a vision to help and support all the uh, biotech, companies, yeah. biotech startups. Mm. Uh, at this juncture, mm. how do you see the biotech sector growing and uh, how we all can come together and contribute? See, the biotech sector is growing. Actually, you can already see when we started, there were only some 10 companies. Now, I think we have lost count. I think there is something like 250 people yeah. in our group. Uh, yes. Only in Bangalore. Only in Bangalore, two fifty plus so, startups. So maybe around four thousand biotech startups are there in India. India. So the whole idea of bio, uh, iBiome itself is, it's not necessarily a challenge, but it's a problem to solve. Mm -hmm. All people should know whether it's a problem to live with, right. starting from getting the people with right skills, retaining them, mm -hmm. and then scaling up. All these things we we thought um, as iBiome. Uh, we can help the startups from our experience and right. networking. Right, right. I can see that a mm. lot of help. Actually, I am also getting a yeah. lot of help from iBiome now yeah. that I am a part of the WhatsApp group. Yeah. So, sir, uh, how do you see in the next 10 years, this 4,000 startups, will it grow to 10,000 or 15,000 startups of biotech in India? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this 4,000 will become 10,000. And this in this 4,000, several hundred will go and become a proper MSME. What right. we call as self-sustaining enterprises. Right. They have to serve the community, get the monies, grow, self-sustaining, several hundred will become. So, yeah. uh, mm. now that we have a big audience of students and mm. uh, young job seekers and mm. bio professionals, mm. what message you will, you will want to give to these students because they all have, uh, they are now looking forward to launch themselves in the, into the biotech sector. What is your message to them, sir? See, this is a very difficult message. Unfortunately, students are uh, in biology, students are studying uh, arts and science. It's not a professional course. Right. So they are not supposed to be job ready. Correct. Right. So that's the main thing. They are not job ready. They are not supposed to be that's job ready. That's the biggest ready. pain point. But you have to go, uh, go into either uh, smaller companies, start your job, right. learn there two to three years and then grow in the same company or go to another company or go to a, a research organization. Right. So you have to get inside the field. So the, this masters or B.Tech and all give you a license right. to get started. But now you have to go and get learn, learn how to be an employee, right. Right? how to be a professional. So right. that's very important to be a professional. So to, be, to become a professional, I think one thing is important is um, you have to do rigorous work. 
see the rigorous work, you can see the opposite is sloppy work, right? right. Sloppy work means you don't even have seen the question, started writing the answer, right? Or you say that I'll come at 8 o'clock, but only 8 o'clock you're waking up, <laughs> right? All these right. things you have to get out and to become a professional is to become, to do rigorous work, right. basically. I think right. that's, that alone is enough. Right. If, you, if you can do rigorous work, even if you're uneducated, you have a job. You have a job. Right. You can always yeah. learn on the job and grow. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing is see now with uh, uh, many people used to say you, uh, you don't know the formula. Now you can Google the formula. Right. Only thing you should know how to Google that right formula. Right. You should have enough gyan to know that formula is right or wrong. Of course. That's all is required. I can see that, yeah. sir, you are playing a very traditional game. Could you throw some light on this particular game, sir? See, this is, exactly? this is one game. See, my opponent is there. Right. He is the tiger. <laughs> okay, he is the tiger. Hey, tiger! Right. Tiger, come. <laughs> right. Puli. So, right. this is a ancient game right. uh, of... Uh, see, I think this is the progenitor of chess also. Okay. So, this in here, you have three tigers, one, two, three tigers, right. and then the rest of them are goats. This right. is called asymmetric game. Okay. Like it's, see, any, any game right. is always symmetrical. Right. Everyone does the same thing or everyone has exactly the same things. Here, same the tiger can eat the goat, goat cannot eat the tiger. So the goat has to actually push the tiger inside and then, then if the tiger has no move, the goats win. Or if the tiger starts eating the goats, if the number of goats be, go below, I think, 11, uh, the tiger wins. So okay. this is some game which uh, I think everyone has to learn to right. play this game. This is an ancient Strategy game of game. South India. South India. <coughs> it's, it's basically, yeah, it's in Andhra, uh, uh, Karnataka, everywhere, okay. Okay. in uh, many... Uh, Right. Temples and other places, you will see on the stone this right. one carved out. Right. This right. is an ancient game on right. should uh, I have seen that. Learn I've to seen play. a lot of temples. Yeah. This uh, engraving. Yeah. So, one last question, sir, mm. before we close mm. our interview mm. is the colleges are uh, pumping in a lot of biotech professionals. Companies, new companies are not getting started, and majority are getting unemployed. And the frustration is being went out on the internet. But like you said, if a person is uh, skilled, he's a professional, he's already ready, he'll get the job, right? So at this juncture, what are the challenges you are facing as a company, genotypic uh, technologies, that what kind of skill labor you are looking at and you are not getting? See, we, see we have, uh, right now, I think we have 20 positions open. 20 positions, 20 positions vacant. vacant. Vacancy. Almost everywhere you see, there right. are enough vacancies. See, I can take another 40 students also, right. put them on sales, international sales. The world is small Correct. or world is big enough uh, right. for hundreds of people to do. Of see, the only thing is, the uh, uh, we are unable to find what is the talent of these students. See, we right. don't want skilled, skilled people because we have to impart the skills. Right. But the students themselves don't know what is their inborn talent. Can you play? As a goat better or like a, 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 a tiger. tiger better, you don't know. Can you play chess better or a frisbee? Here, right. what playing? So, you need so to people know the inborn talent. You know the inborn talent. So sometimes, you no, know, we take sports people Correct. into sales because the sports guys can firstly travel. Right. Uh, second, the sports guys can also uh, take some insults or they can take a loss. Right. right. Whereas a real, um, what you call, no serious guys mm -hmm. uh, cannot take failures. Right. In they sales, handle failures. Handle failure. So handling failure is the most important thing. Uh, what we call us, no, you should be able to gracefully accept failures Wonderful. and gratefully take up the victories or yeah. success. There's, there's so many other things uh, involved in success of course, of course. that you contribute to others, but you gracefully accept and uh, shake hand with your opponent who has won. Of course. <laughs> that's, that's also <laughs> And very then important. buy him a beer. Brilliant. <laughs> or buy him a wine. That's the way it goes. Certainly. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. For Thank your you. Time. All the best wonderful. to you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so doing a great job for uh, the students and also the companies. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much, sir. Yeah. So that was Dr. Raja, co-founder and CEO of iBiome and Genotypic Technologies. Now, as you can see here, you already have the right skill set. But you need to know what is your inborn talent and accordingly strategize. That's how you grow in your career. And that's what sir said. Learn from failures, move towards success, but never give up, keep trying, all the best.